Many traders use moving averages to follow the trend and to identify changes in market direction. While moving averages are a useful tool to have in your toolbox, they can provide false signals quite a lot. One method to filter market noise and to remove a part of those false signals is to use moving average envelopes. In today's video, you'll discover how to trade using envelopes and I'll share several strategies using this indicator. The envelopes is a tool that attempts to identify the upper and lower bands of a trading range. It does this by plotting two moving average envelopes on the price chart, one shifted up to a certain distance above and one shifted below. The idea behind this indicator is that the price has the tendency to remain within a certain range during normal market conditions. However, when these conditions are changing, the price has the potential to move above or below the envelope bands, which is signaling possible trading positions. Moving average envelopes consist of a moving average plus and minus a percentage deviation. When you apply the envelope indicator, you will notice two lines or bands which appear above and below the price and these lines are called upper and lower envelopes. Also the area between the bands represents the channel. The line within the channel is a moving average. You can see that the bands move in parallel with the moving average because the distance away from the moving average is constant. Each envelope is set the same percentage above or below the moving average. This creates the parallel bands that follow price action. Now, the selection of the period of the moving average and the percentage of envelopes is what makes or breaks your trading strategy. The parameters of the moving average envelopes depend on your trading or investing objectives and the characteristics of the market you are trading. Day traders and scalpers will likely use shorter, faster moving averages and relatively tight envelopes. Swing traders and investors will likely prefer longer and slower moving averages with wider envelopes. The market volatility will also influence the parameters. When you plot the envelopes on your chart, you probably see the resemblance with Bollinger Bands and the Keltner channel. Well, these indicators will adjust by themselves to market volatility. Bollinger Bands use the standard deviation to set the bandwidth, while Keltner channels use the average true range to set the channel width. With envelopes, you must independently account for volatility when setting the moving average envelopes. Instruments with higher volatility will require wider bands to include most price action, while markets with low volatility can use narrower bands. In choosing the right parameters, it often helps to overlay a few different moving average envelopes and compare. For example, this chart contains two moving average envelopes based on the 21 simple moving average. The 3% envelopes were touched several times, while the 5% envelopes were only touched rarely. A swing trader might use the 5% envelopes, while a short-term trader could use the 3% envelopes. Determination of what moving average to use is also arbitrary. There is no magic number working on any market. This is a trial and error process and is developed through backtesting. I suggest starting with a 21 period moving average for most stocks, commodities and for other markets. For a longer term view and analysis, try a 50 period moving average. If you want more pace, reduce its length to 10 period. So how to read the envelopes? With a moving average as the base, moving average envelopes can be used as a trend following indicator. Beyond simply trend following, the envelopes can also be used to identify overbought and oversold levels when the trend is relatively flat and also to provide dynamic support and resistance. The moving average envelopes smooths out price fluctuations and allows us to see the bigger picture of the market. With the envelopes, you can look at the direction of the bands to get an idea about the trend. If the bands are sloping upward, then it confirms an uptrend. If the bands are sloping downward, it confirms a downtrend. When the envelopes are moving sideways, price is neither in an uptrend or a downtrend. Although different traders have their own way in which they use the envelopes and try to use specific patterns, the common application of the indicator is to provide certain alerts such as overbought and oversold, sell and buy signals or as a trend confirmation. If you use narrow envelopes when prices are resting and consolidating, they will break out of the envelopes in one direction or the other. A trader might view price breaking above the upper envelope as a potential buy opportunity. And when prices break below the lower envelope, a trader might view as a selling opportunity. Basically, 
Moving average envelopes can be used to identify strong moves that signal the start of an extended trend. The trick, as always, is picking the correct parameters, which takes practice, trial and error. In this example, notice how the price broke above the upper envelope and continued moving above this band. This shows buying strength. The inverse logic can be applied for a downtrend. A strong move below the lower envelope signals weakens that can foreshadow an extended downtrend. Remember, if you want to chase breakout moves, use narrow envelopes. Now, the majority of price breakouts don't go to form new trends. They will instead more frequently revert back into the previous price range. If you are familiar with Bollinger Bands, you probably know that a common strategy is to sell near the upper band and to buy near the lower band. This could also be applied to envelopes. Moving average envelopes make great overbought and oversold indicators when using higher parameters. Using the concept of range trading, you could buy when the price penetrates the lower envelope and closes back inside the envelope. Likewise, you might sell when the price penetrates the upper envelope and then closes back inside the envelope. In this example, notice there are times when the price initially moves above and below the envelope but turns back around. This usually happens when the moving average slope is flat. When this happens, moving average envelopes can be used to identify overbought and oversold levels. When price moves above the upper envelope, this can be considered overbought. When price moves below the lower envelope, this can be considered oversold. However, identifying overbought and oversold levels isn't easy. Remember, price can become overbought and remain overbought when the bullish trend is strong. The same goes for being oversold. This is why it's best to pay attention to the slope of the moving average and make sure it's flat. Here, notice how the 20 simple moving average and the upper and lower envelopes are flat, almost horizontal even. Basically, the price is directionless here. There is no strong bullish trend, nor there is a strong bearish trend. Observe how the upper envelope acts as a strong resistance level. Whenever price traded near the upper envelope, price would fall back down. The same with the lower envelope. Observe how it acts as a strong support level. Whenever price traded near the lower envelope, price would bounce back up. Envelopes are also great for buying or selling pullbacks. If the last high was let's say 5% above the moving average, keep the upper envelope line set at 5%. The next high will often reflect the same extreme. Conversely, if the last significant downswing low was 5% below the moving average, keep this figure as the lower envelope setting until market action dictates otherwise. In this example, notice this great entry at the lower envelope. The market made a swing low here and respected the dynamic support offered by the lower envelope the second time the price reached the area. Envelopes can also serve as dynamic support and resistance areas. If prices cross above the moving average, assume that this line will act as support on pullbacks and the next rally will have the potential to advance to the upper envelope line. If the price is in an uptrend, the upper envelope line may act as a dynamic line of resistance. The rally tops will hug the upper envelope line but prices will tend to keep going up, so in an uptrend, the upper envelope is a great take profit zone. If prices cross below the center moving average, assume that this line will act as resistance on any rebounds and that downside potential is to the lower envelope line. If the trend is down, the lower envelope may act as a falling dynamic support line. The lower envelope is a potential take profit zone. In an uptrend, price could decline to the lower envelope line. This area will define where the price is both oversold and the specific price area that offers a potential buying opportunity. In a downtrend, price could advance to the upper envelope line. This area will help define where the market is both overbought and the specific price area that may be most opportune as a selling point. Remember that moving averages are lagging indicators. This is because the price data always incorporates periods of the past so the inflections in the market's direction will always be reflected more slowly by a moving average rather by the price itself. How much more slowly is a function of the size of the period you choose. In some cases, you may find that using a combination of more than one set of envelopes, say one with a longer period and one with a shorter period, may paint a fuller picture. 
Really the best way to establish what works with your own training style is to go ahead and backtest different periods in different timeframes. Also, it goes without saying, building a complete envelope strategy is not just about signals informing you when to buy or sell. Envelopes are just a part of the full story. Price action, support and resistance and a solid risk management are also needed to get the best out of envelopes. As always, if you learned something new and found value, leave us a like to show your support, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay in touch when we upload new videos. Until next time.